Hello everyone and welcome to this video. We are going to be taking a look at moon pools. We're going to determine what makes a moon pool, how we can make one, how we can retrofit an existing ship with one, and all that good stuff. Now this new compressed gas update did bring a lot of issues to the game. Hopefully most of them have been solved by now, but one of the coolest things that it enables us to do is potentially build moon pools. I was so excited about this earlier and I can't wait to test it out with you guys now, so stay tuned. For those of you who know the RSV of Allah, you know there is already a moon pool situated here. It's on the main deck and it's fully open to below, meaning it is not inside the ship. It's open to atmospheric conditions or open to the atmosphere so it is not possible to fill it up with a um with compressed gas so in this case even if we release the diving bell and even if we open up this trap door you see that it is only um a pool within the ship it is not inside a room so this is not the type of pool we're talking about but if we were to build a house over top of this then it would be now this is a moon pool and it is inside an enclosed compartment as you see here but the difference between this one and the other one is not much different in terms of the game because it is fully open to underneath the ship and actually the water level here is equal to the water level outside so this is pretty much just a hole in the ship as of now it's not modeled properly it's not modeled as a moon pool but we're going to see if we can retrofit it to be modeled as a moon pool so we're going to start by going underneath the ship and down here you can see our hole so in theory if we add the door sort of um door edge panel that should make it sealed or at least not maybe not sealed but it should at least make it a closed compartment so i'm going to see if just doing that works we will have to go add a little um pressure dial to see exactly what it is we've done but the way the game works is it needs these edge pieces to sort of learn how to determine what is closed and what is not closed or rather what is sealed and what is not sealed so in this case now this chamber becomes sealed so logic would dictate now this would act as a proper moon pool so what i'm going to go and do up here is add a few things we're going to add a barometer we're going to add a gas meter And because the way the ship is configured and the way that this is all configured, either we'd need a pump to potentially pump in some air. And the reason we'd want to pump in air is if we find that the space is not, if the water level is too high in here, we have to be able to expand and add air. We're just going to do it as a simple... Um, gas tank here so we're going to add one of these big gas tanks or can a huge one fit maybe a huge one can fit alrighty we're going to go and add one of these and we're going to go put a valve on the end a manual one that we could control and then we're just going to put a port all right and then we want to have this thing filled with air and filled all the way so fully containing all the air now I actually can go ahead and put two of those because I'm curious to see exactly how the water level behaves with and without that pressure also one of the interesting things that you can do with moon pools is if you uh, if you add um, or open up a door or a window or whatever it's actually going to allow the water to flood in because you're going to lose your pressurized system so what i'm going to do is right here just put a door or rather a port well porthole my bad we'll put a porthole or a sliding hatch here 
So this now will let the atmosphere come into this room and should potentially drop the level of the moon pool. So let's see how this works. First things first, we could see that in here, the water level is very low. But we're also now floating around here, which is not great. So I'm not quite sure. I guess that we have too much pressure in here. Let's make our way over to there and see what exactly is going on. Okay, we're at... No, it's not too, too bad. I don't know why we're floating around. Could also just be laggy, to be honest. Because this ship has so many things. Look at this. Look at all the vehicles on this ship. Okay, but anyways, the water is down there. It is slowly creeping up. If we open this hole up, then the water level should increase even higher. And if I close it, it should stop. I just let it sit for a little while, and you could see that even now the water level has risen until it is pretty much in parallel with the outside of the ship. So if we go here and then make our way out, you could see that it's just a little lower than where the water is outside. But if we release these and increase the pressure in here, what the assumption is, is that the water level should drop down. Now maybe, just maybe we need pumps pumping in the whole time. So maybe it's not enough to just have sort of this type of system, but there also has to be sort of a threshold point at which um, you're not injuring the player with a high pressure scenario, but you're also allowing the water level to be consistent with what you want. So in this case, you could see that it's already dropping down. Now these things do have a decent amount of content and it's slowly coming out. So you could see that our gas level is increasing. The pressure is also increasing and it's almost near the bottom of the ship. So at this point, it is well less than where the call it the ambient water level is. So if we just make our way outside, you could see it's a good amount less and regardless it is holding true to this now I was just launched out was I launched out as a result of the high pressure or what that I don't know so I can just no clip my way back in here and see what exactly is going on in here so it's actually pushing me out to the door so I think we've may have, we may have pressurized this system too much you can see that it is actually hitting the bottom of this chamber so that means that there is sort of a happy medium place now yes this ship is quite laggy on my computer especially when I'm running VLC okay once I open this door I'm actually dropping pressure because Doing just that actually drop the pressure down and the water will start to climb. But it seems that it is just now a balance of sort of what we just did here to make your water level be where you want it. So in this case, you could see that we have our water, our gas level is dropping. I'm not quite sure from where. So that's a little strange. And it, so this thing is pretty much neutralized. What I would suggest doing is rather than having these tanks that are just empty now, you'd have a pump and the pump would constantly be pumping in air and regulating the system. We're losing pressure. I'm not sure how, but you could see the water is hanging out at the very bottom level. So it's just a combination of this, but this is call it an introduction to moon pools. And that's exactly what we just did here. So you'll find that the pressure will balance itself out at some point and if not pump in more pump in more um air but it's so cool because now there you have it you could actually use the moon pool as a moon pool and you don't have to worry about the water level being where the water level is and all that stuff so that's so cool we actually created a sealed chamber of water using air using only air pressure 
as sort of the regulating feature. But yeah, without, without a leak, without an air leak, I don't quite know why we're dropping in gas. If someone in the comment knows, please let me know. Maybe it's the new update. Maybe this is something they did to enable compartments to be sealed and then, or whatever. Yes, we should be consuming oxygen and creating carbon dioxide. So that would make sense, but it wouldn't be dropping at this fast of a level. But regardless, and I don't have any doors open. That's the obvious thing to check. Are the doors open? Regardless, the level of water is staying down there, so that's really cool. And we'll kind of see from there what happens. But um, all I want to say is that I think this is super cool, just ha having had done that. Yes, it looks like our mini sub is floating, but actually it is resting on these connectors in the rear. So um, don't worry about commenting on that. But you could see here, that is super cool. The water level is just beneath the moon pool and this is a big moon pool like probably you will not need a moon pool this big i mean i i would probably not do one this big just for the size of this ship especially but maybe you have a diving bell in here or maybe you have some sort of other type of uh, creation or contraption or just a diving room so in that case you'd need something fairly sizable but th like i said this is also a deep moon pool we the reason it's this deep, and by deep I mean it's three stories tall. One story, two story, three stories. It's three stories tall because the limitation of the game when I built this ship didn't allow me to have a moon pool. But if I was making this again, I'd have this two stories max. Like this whole top story is redundant. I'd move the mini sub down a little bit. My standing platform would be down there. So it would not need to be this tall. And then you also don't need as much... Um, gas to be inside this chamber but there you have it so this introduction to moon pool worked perfectly i'm actually quite thrilled if that was as easy as just showing you just create a closed system and you put whatever you put these things and again playing with pumps is the next level but just what we have now is literally a moon pool so thank you for watching stay tuned for more content more creations and as always happy storm everyone